By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to draw something really, really cool like this. You'll be able to see the little, how did we do this? How do you make uh, something? This is so simple, you won't believe it. Hey, everybody, we're in lesson three. We're messing around with all the cool things you can do with Google Slides today. Just cool things you can do with simple shapes. We're just going to take a short lesson on some simple shapes. We did this little dude last time in lesson two, um, talking about grouping shapes. And now we're just going to use some simple shapes, um, simple tricks with shapes here. So um, we're going to start, actually, let's start with this one. Um, we'll start with this one and we're going to go up to tools. No, we're not. We're going to go up to shapes, I mean. And I'm going to pick this little uh, moon thing. Now this uh, may look like a moon to you, but I see all kinds of different possibilities. There's a banana, there's all kinds of smiles, there's all kinds of things. But let's take a look at how we could use this shape and this little doodad thing on the shape. This little uh, yellow thing is really powerful. By moving it, you can change the size of the shape. I don't know what that doodad's called, but um, oh, it sort of resizes things. It's really useful. So I'm gonna just, because uh, you could build so many things with just some simple, simple shapes. And once you start getting into it a little bit, you can really do um, some some impressive things. I'm gonna get rid of um, the border on this, um, make it transparent, and I'm gonna go to just a darker green here. And then I'm gonna just, just simply, and I might tweak this a little bit more, a little bit more. And just a simple line. It's amazing what simple little lines can do. Now, I'm just going to copy and paste this again. I'm going to move it to the side. I'm just going to put it over here and just flip it. So if you use this little doodad here, the blue doodad, you can flip it and, of course, resize. Um, so it's got a little more of those little lines. And I think I want to go just a little bit. This thing on top will turn it. So we can get some cool looks. And just that, I think, has already made it kind of more interesting. But let's let's do it again. Let's bring this up here. And we can do one of two things. We can put it on top or below. Let's just put it below the eyes. Kind of give it the appearance of sort of just something. Oh, look at that. I like that. And let's move another one over here to just kind of give it a, a look. So with that's just with some, you know, simple, simple kind of adjustments. You got kind of a cool thing. I want to do actually that again. Let's do this. And sometimes we can even go super small. Oops. And maybe like make it look like a bit smaller and it's really when you start forming and putting things on top of each other you get some really interesting looks so sort of like oh a little I might do that again I like the look of that turned out pretty good shrink that down and just move it hide that a little bit on the top Oh, that's kind of neat. Not bad with just uh, Google Slides. You can get some kind of cool looks happening. You could do that. I think maybe even over here would be a nice place to sort of do that. Get a second sort of like Jabba the Hutt type monstery look here. Let's just turn that. Now. Yeah, I like that second one just a little bit. It makes it just a little bit better. So let's do that. Anyway, this is going on a little long. Um, the basics was that little line there. And if you see, it's here too. You can use it to adjust sort of other things. And just as a quick review of our last lesson of grouping, 
if you take this and press shift and then group those two things, tools or no arrange group, now they're together. So if you ever wanted to move or make adjustments, they sort of stay together. Whereas over here, if I were to do it, oh, that one, and then it gets kind of a pain to move them around. Um, but check that out. Nope, making that too big. Oh, I like that, but I want to get it together. Yeah, that looks good there. Really good. You know what? Let's throw some on the top, too. Ah, let's flip this over. So just flip it. Again, all the same shape. Yeah, that made it look a lot better. Let's go a lot bigger now. It's kind of the fun of it. You figure out as you're going sort of what looks good. But again, Google Slides can be pretty powerful, especially if you're, you know, you're, you don't have, you can't afford the more expensive, fancy tools, or you're working on school projects, um, can be pretty impressive. Um, and if you look over here, you can see that this one kind of stands out um, compared to that one. Um, and you can see from a different angle, maybe sometimes you can make these thicker get a little better look. You can go right on top. I kind of like the right on top look too. Maybe I'll... Yeah. I could do this all day long, but you've got places to go. I've got things to do. So I hope you enjoyed it.